Okay, here we're going to look at the basic organization of life, starting with the most simple atomic scale and working our all the way up throughout the different stages and levels. So starting at the atom level, uh, that's considered the most uh, basic organization. Those atoms kind of come together to form molecules. In this case, we have oxygen alone, forming the molecule uh, dioxide or oxygen here found in the air. Oxygen and other molecules can combine to form macromolecules, which we're going to spend an entire unit on macromolecules. These macromolecules, such as a phospholipid, this would be a phospholipid bilayer, and that's a component of the cell. So here we have the cell, which is, again, composed of atoms, which form together to make molecules, which make macromolecules or big molecules. Those then come together to make cells. From cells, though, we continue on to tissues. So a com combined organization of cells from tissues those tissues can then combine to form an organ, such as the lung. We then have an organ system, such as the respiratory system here. And those organ systems can then make an organism, such as the lion here. It has respiratory, digestive, um, reproductive system, and many more that come together to make the organism. From the organism, though, we can continue on to a population, where we have multiple lions here. From a population, we go to a community. We have lions and zebras. And from a community, we build onto an ecosystem for attacking in the environment, and that can ultimately lead here to the biosphere, which is life on Earth. We're going to focus on different units throughout uh, this entire biology unit on populations, communities, ecosystems, and also touch on the biosphere. Now, life is an emergent property. So what does it mean to be an emergent property? Well, emergent properties are basically the consequence of structural organization that is the hallmark of life. They are characterized by many aspects of the living world. And each higher level of organization contains novel properties not present in simple, simpler level of organization. So what is this kind of like, how does this relate or mean to the pictures I put here? Well, we have the picture of the brain here. I'm not going to go into all the details of it here. But a single neuron cannot perform the function that the brain does. Just like a single bird here cannot perform the function of the entire flock. When neurons are all working together, as a functional brain, it's, that is where you're having that emergent property when no single neuron can perform this task. No single bird can perform the task of the flock, but here you have a collection all working together. This is an example of an emergent property that gets back to the organization of life.